Well, welcome aboard. I'm Captain Jake, and we're back with another episode of Order of Battle World War II. This game was developed by Lyris Kratz and published by Slytherin. Some people probably wonder why I give credit at the beginning each time for a game that you're tuning back in you already know, because they worked hard to produce it, and I want to make sure that they get credit each and every single time. But that being said, we're going to get into today's episode, which will be a little unusual, and I will explain why. We are basically um, going to do screenshots, uh, due to the fact that, uh, as you can see here, I'm already played for today, but failed to get a good recording. So. I have to double check my recording software. That's the second time very recently that it's done that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up and talk about what we see uh, for each turn and uh, complete it that way. So it'd be a short episode, kind of goofy if you will, but it's the best I can do because not to give away anything, but uh, I really don't want to replay it again. So, sorry about that. So, here we go. Let's get in, into it for today. We are playing uh, Corellia, and we had to, as our objectives, primary objectives, we had to take two, which we've already done. And then we had to take all the primary objectives, which again is those first two, plus this one and that one. Okay. So that's what we had to do. So let's go ahead and we've already destroyed three air units. And you won't see any more air units in this battle. So we're going to go ahead and hit close. Uh, our plan is, as it basically split down the middle of the map here, this task force is moving here on uh, Perjarvi. <laughs> it's finished, don't ask me how to pronounce it. And I ain't even going to try this one. And then we have this task force, a little bit smaller, but it's going to pick up these units are heading towards there. So that's what our plan was and is. So that's the disposition of our units. So we're going to go ahead and just go back here and we will load at the end of turn 23. So we can see where we've moved along and how we've done. Like I said, this episode will probably get some dislikes, but it's the best I can do without replaying it. So, what you can see here is we've moved up. We've got a couple of units here, plus this one over here that would be a problem. We're flanking a little bit. And still moving our units up as best we can. What we dis what we discovered and which we're, we were an idiot for not seeing the first time is this is a rail line and we were moving these units up the rail line and figure out why they were moving so darn slow. It's because you can't drive their trucks up the rail line. So there you go. So that's uh, where it is. We discovered a, uh, a pack 37 or 36, an infantry unit here and another infantry unit there. Here uh, we pushed back this unit, and this other unit came down and rushed down, and you can see we're consolidating. And like I said before, we are moving those units up, leaving the conscripts to hold these two towns, just in case. And that's where we stood at the end of turn 23. So we'll go lo load end of turn 24. So let's take a look at where we are at the end of turn 24. Same same objectives. Uh, we've moved into a, a deeper flanking position. Uh, we've just 
know about this uh, 105 howitzer up here. And our unit's getting a little bit beat up here. You see we had to pull this uh, BT-7 back because he got beat up by this unit. And this unit's also getting beat up by this infantry unit. Plus our air units had to go back. And we got a couple that are landed. Then here we're still moving this uh, tank unit up. But you can see our tank units are exhausted. So they really don't play a major role any longer. But you'll notice we have defeated that ground unit that was over here and beat up this Finnish infantry unit. So our next move will be heading in to see what's in this uh, primary victory location or objective. And that's where we stand right now, moving our artillery up, uh, keeping them in good support. I, I want to it keep these artillery pieces too, by the way, for the next mission. I hope. That was turn at the end of turn 24. I'm gonna move on to turn 25. Kind of really didn't move along real fast because we were in a narrow area going after both of the units, and they were proving to be very stubborn. Okay. Here. Uh, we lost our armored car by this, and we had to move up our BT, which again got did well. We took out the one unit, uh, but then had to pull back to get uh, reinforced again. So, in our artillery unit, but this little like uh, T thirty eight now is uh, pulling back into the battle. And our other infantry units are getting closer, plus our heavy infantry is coming around the corner. And nothing else up here has changed. Over here, you can see that we have now moved all of our units up to encircle this infantry unit. Thank goodness it's not a heavy infantry unit. We should be able to whittle them down with the units that we have available. Uh, they do have a infantry unit that you can't see. It's sitting in here. We'll chase him out and kill him eventually. But you can see we are bringing our heavy infantry and engineers up. And we're going to pull our cavalry out here because they're going to get hurt uh, soon by this infantry unit. And that's where we stand right there. So really, again... Well, a little far away from being able to attack this unit at turn 25 with only five to go. This one, we're in a much better position. We'll go to turn 26 here. And we'll see where we are on turn 26, which should be fun. Um, like, again, I apologize that this is going to be an odd episode, but recording issue yet again so before I record again I'll be uh, double checking which I kind of did before I started this recording but if this one works and you see it <laughs> then we know the recording software is working okay okay no change to the south we got air units being replenished as need be bringing fighters back up and uh, you can see that our Artillery is moved, I mean, our artillery, our armor is moved up a little bit, getting ready to assault. Infantry unit is now assaulting this pack. Uh, so we should be getting rid of him shortly. And then we'll make an attempt to push on this and see what we lose and what we don't lose as far as units, because that uh, 105 is definitely dangerous. And our artillery is moved up. We're still here, but we're going to continue to move up so we can bombard the town also you can see here we have now cat uh, getting ready to capture this but because of that we've pulled uh, our artillery out and started sending him to support this group because this is well in hand you can see these two units here you see infantry engineer unit and this cavalry unit are moving to uh, take out that hidden unit that you can't see here Armor's moving up, plenty of infantry. Got my heavy infantry. 
You could say my two Arden units are, are tired, exhausted, need to be replenished, and sat for a turn or two, but they're uh, blocky. So that's what they're there for. Go to turn 27. With the auto saves, it allows me to at least put together a acidized episode, but I could say we got to do with what we got. So no change to the south again, still replenishing aircraft, another aircraft coming in to land. Up here, and we've now begun our assault. Here, uh, this unit has finally been moved out into the open which we should be able to easily destroy. Our armor have moved up to take on this heavy infantry unit, which is going to be a pain in the butt to get out of that town. Um, but we need to move them out of the town to obviously uh, accomplish all the missions. Here you can see we're pulling our armor out and our artillery and moving that way. These two units have either killed or uh, are still tracking down that unit. Here you can see that we've actually now moved in, took that objective, the primary objective, and that uh, Finnish infantry moved out with only one, uh, hit, one hit point or one point of uh, health left. And we attempted him with our aviation units, didn't work. I don't think I've killed anything with a ground attack aviation unit in a long time. So, but that's where we stand here. There's another aircraft coming in to land. So we got quite a few aircraft that need to be refueled when we got our, our spotting aircraft, the recon aircraft up here, and our fighter uh, that are hitting this. And that is turn 27. Up, oh, cancel. But did the wrong thing there <laughs> which would have started me playing that portion of the game over again no change to the south still got aviation units that are being uh, refueled and then sent back out Artillery moving up. This aviation unit's going back to land. These guys are moving across because that unit is now dead. That there was a uh, Finnish infantry unit in here. And our howitzers are moving in. These guys have now started to attack. Got the, the crap kicked out. We lost uh, a little tank, that uh, T-38. And got beat up here and did reduce him by one on his attack. He did that. So now we're going to have to readjust here and hopefully have this infantry close enough because that's the only thing that's going to be able to root him out. These uh, armored units are going to do nothing. So here's a heavy infantry unit and our artillery. And then over here, literally, we're pulling back. You can see we've got all the trucks loaded and armor unit moving down the road and armor moving towards this objective. We've only got two turns to go, so there's no way they're going to get there. But to play out, instead of just letting them sit there, we let them move across. And now we're going to go to turn 29. So we're getting close to the end. Since we have that one objective now, it's just a matter of getting that last objective. And will we make it in time was my thought. I was like, oh God, this is gonna be so close. You can see we had launched an aircraft, aircraft coming in land, conscript still holding, no changes down here. And we'll come over here first. You can see these units have moved across. These two units I just left there. And we're just taking the road. But as you can see here, 
We moved our heavy infantry unit up. He lost another point. Uh, we moved our, our infantry up, and then these two pe infantry units are in position to attack this guy next time. We'll hit him with aviation, our two artillery units, hopefully root him out of every nook and cranny in that town, and uh, continue on and win the uh, scenario. So, we'll go to end of turn 30. So here was the last turn. I was sweating bullets, if you will. I was like, oh, Jesus, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be able to root that guy out. Normally, if you get him down to two, they will retreat. But uh, if the AI was really smart, they'd just sit there, unless they were forced to move back automatically, which may be part of the coding. I don't know. We'll close. And, well, you can see here that our we moved infantry units surrounded them move tank unit and we just continued and this infantry unit continued to hammer him at two he did retreat he fell back to here and we were able to move into the town and complete and you can see here no changes everything's moving across and that was the end of uh, the scenario on the last turn, this unit was the last unit I had to do. He was sitting here, all I, I attacked, and he went to two, and we were able to move into the town. By pure luck now, is it because he had a commander with him? I don't know, but I don't care. All I know is, is that we were successful. And uh, moving on, we also got the airfield. So, there you go. So. With that end of it, we moved on to the next campaign, which we'll load up here real quick. Um, okay, load. Okay. Um, why isn't it loading? Okay. Let's exit to the main menu. Oh, we're here, that's why. So we close. We got four points, four specialization points that we'll look at spending next time. And the next one is called Alex, for some reason. But uh, Stuma, following the disastrous first Soviet attack against the Manorham line, which, if you remember, when we played uh, the Winter War, we decimated the Russians trying to attack. So the Finnish forces launched a daring counter-strike, which we did also only to be swiftly thrown back again so that's what we're gonna not sure exactly what we're gonna do here but that was for next episode so that's where we'll leave it so that's the end of this episode um kind of get a synopsis of what was going on didn't get to see all the moves and i apologize but uh, sometimes the recording doesn't work and it just don't go back and replay it i just yeah it's like no i can't do that because if i succeed <laughs> why would i want to go back and run the chance of failure so anyway either as it may um i would say leave a like leave a comment but probably bad comments and and a bunch of dislikes but if that's what you want to put that's fine uh hopefully uh next week when we bring in the next episode we won't have any more recording problems and you'll get a normal episode so as always i am captain jake wishing you fair winds and following seas until next time